Palawan is an archipelagic province of the Philippines and occupies the western edge of the country and is also known for its beautiful scenic views and rich biodiversity, including the town of Nara, also known to be as the rice granary of Palawan. Because it is the main producer of rice in the province, it is also the home of the native Philippine red vented cockatoo and other rare animal species, which is the reason why one of the islands here is declared to be as a wildlife sanctuary known as the Rasa Island. Nara Palawan is also known for its beautiful tourist destinations such as Arena Island, Australia Falls, Mount Victoria, and their Palay Festival or Anihan Festival held every October. But in 2004, an incident caused the downfall of the tourism in Nara Palawan. Warning. The following details contain very sensitive topics and if you are eating or have a weak stomach, it is better you don't continue the story. The crime that I will discuss today is about a strange case of murder that happened in Palawan, Philippines, called the Wedding Cannibalism Incident. One of the old wedding traditions known in the Philippines is the dance performed the night before the wedding where the guests happily celebrate and dance their way to the music inside the hall, prepared by the groom's family, and on this said celebration, there are instances that the male guests are going to dance with the upcoming bride and groom. It was in 2004 when the police of Nara Palawan were surprised because of a man named Juni Buyut together with a barangay elder who came to their office. The police were horrified about the revelations he reported about the crime that happened. According to Juni, it was during July 2004 when everyone was busy preparing in the town of Armaywan in Nara, Palawan because it was the wedding of his cousin's daughter, a 47-year-old farmer who was known as Elijo Baule. While doing the wedding dance tradition, the 25-year-old Benji Ganay accidentally touched the bride's buttocks which angered Elaji Baule as a result. And with the help of his 21-year-old son, Gerald Baule, 36-year-old nephew, Sabtauri Pique, and his cousin, Juni Buyut, took the 25-year-old Benji in a tricycle and drove him to a dense area in town where they stabbed him multiple times until he finally lost his life. The killers began to divide Benji's body and poured gas on the coconut palms they had collected before setting it on fire. They then laid down Benji's body to the fire until it was totally burned. During that incident, Elaujo Baule sliced Benji's ear and tongue before he ate it. He even handed Benji, while he was burning in agony, a piece of his body part and forced him to eat it. The victim couldn't take it and he vomited. However, Elaujo forcefully fed it into him again and forced him to swallow it while pointing the knife to the victim. After cutting all the flesh, they put it inside a plastic cellophane bag and they threw Benji's head and bones into a creek, hoping that the rainwater would drift it away. After the killing, the four men returned to the wedding together with Benji's flesh where they had put it in a plastic bag. Not only did Juni's revelation end there, because the stories that followed were more shocking. According to him, the pieces of Benji's meat were cooked by Elijah and served to their guests. He added that most of the dishes was served to some villagers who were having a drinking session. So perhaps that's the reason why the taste has not been noticed while they were eating it. In addition, Juni said that he was not silenced by his conscience which is why he approached a barangay elder in town and asked for help on what to do and accompanied him to the police to surrender. Because of Juni Buyut's accusation was so extreme, they immediately went to the killing incident took place where it was said that they disposed the victim's bones. And after two days of investigation, the police finally found the burned remains of Benji Ganai's bones, hair, and clothes which was also reported that he had gone missing since he attended the said celebration in town. Because of the evidences found, the authorities immediately arrested Elaujo Baule together with his son Gerald Baule and his nephew Sabtauri Pique, who 
with the help of the group of police chief senior inspector Perla Bacuel. However, the perpetrators denied the charges against them and covered their faces with their hands while inside the prison cell while being photographed by the media. According to Police Senior Inspector Perla Bacuel, this is the first time that he encountered a case like this in the said town in Palawan and why they committed such an extreme crime as a revenge for only a minor reason remains a mystery, except for the fact that those who committed the crime drank alcohol prior to the murder incident happened. The said incident immediately attracted the attention of the international media due to its bizarre nature. Because of the incident, the tourism of Nara Palawan was greatly affected because their people were feared by the public and even called them cannibals. According to the mayor of Nara Palawan at that time, Mayor Lucena de Maala tried to make the public understand that this is an isolated case and that there is no other cases of violence in their area in the town of Nara. The Nara tourism officer, Reynaldo de la Rosa, also complained that because according to him, the majority would not have known about the said incident if it wasn't for the media reports and according to him, the first media report that came out to the public was not detailed and that's why it showed the public that cannibalism was part of their culture. In addition, he said that the tourist resorts in Nara Palawan are still suffering because of the impact of the said case especially when at that time period their town was famously gaining the reputation for having beautiful beaches, mountain trekking activities, and hot springs. In a nutshell, because of the crime that happened there was so brutal and horrific, this does not signify that the people in Nara Palawan in the Philippines are cannibals. I hope you guys liked the story that I covered. Please don't forget to leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you very much and see you in my next video. Peace out.